2006, an idea was born. What would a community-led response to the big challenges the world faces look like? A group of people in a small town started playing around with a set of principles, tools and values drawn from many great social change and cultural development movements of the past, but uniquely adapted to and refocused on the unique setting of now. They called it Transition. They were clear that this was an experiment, an experiment that needed people trying things out where they were and sharing both their successes and their failures. That first transition town unleashed itself in 2006. People in other places, initially in the UK and very rapidly further afield, started to hear about what they were doing and wanted to do it too. It started to spread. It began popping up all over the place, at first in small towns, then in urban neighbourhoods, in universities, on islands, in all kinds of unexpected places. A small charity called Transition Network was created to inspire, encourage, connect, support, nurture and train this rapidly growing network. Inspired by this approach, people started growing food in unexpected places, creating new food businesses, community energy companies, local currencies and so much more. So much more that we'll just show you some images that give a sense of the breadth of what they're doing. began learning how to run effective groups, work together and share their learnings. They poured their creativity and commitment into exploring together the changes they wanted to see and getting stuff to happen within themselves, within their group and across their neighbourhood. The idea began spreading internationally from Bologna to Brazil, from Japan to Pasadena. It won awards, ran amazing international conferences and national hub organisations began forming to support the spread in nearly 30 countries. It appeared on television, radio and films, and even inspired novels and a musical. Its power as a dynamic tool for inspiring bottom-up, community-led action has been noted by politicians, researchers and many others. It has real impacts on people's lives, putting care and the creation of healthy communities at its heart. Many, many people are involved and are doing amazing things. Where might it go next? Well, that's kind of up to you.